Hey guys, welcome back to Inverted Adventures RC, and we are moving on to the next episode of the Team Associated B74.1D four wheel drive buggy build. Check it out. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I want to start off by apologizing for the length of time between videos. It's been, I think, 10 or 11 days, almost two weeks. Um, obviously, when this gets uploaded, you'll know the last week or so has been the uh, Christmas, week of Christmas, week before, a couple days after. So I've had, like, no time to get down in the shop, but uh, we're back at it. We are going to move on to bag number five, which looks to be the shock towers and stuff. Um, we're going to go ahead and with that. That's only about six steps, so this shouldn't be too long or too hard. There's nothing any not anything complicated in here so uh should be a nice quick easy bag to do and it shouldn't be too long of a video either so uh let's start doing it all right so we are going to start off building the front gearbox and the sides here so you're going to take your front gearbox and that is of the two and with the shorter shaft the longer shafts on the rear so you're going to take that and you're going to take one of these aluminum pieces and that will go on the side here and you want to be careful you make sure you look at the inserts because the inserts have different there's little dots on them to tell you um zero plus three plus two plus one millimeter for the differential height so i'm just going to build it exactly like it says so you're going to take the plus three and you're going to put it in there so that means the two dots on the bottom and the bolt hole on top and you're going to line that up and take your three by twelve which is these longer ones. Yes, you want the flathead 3x12. And that's going to go in that top hole. Don't tighten that down all the way because you want to get your other bolts lined up and stuff. And then you're going to take two 3x10s, which are these smaller three by ten button heads and then one's going to go in this hole here and get it to line up start with that one maybe yeah there we go so we get one in that hole and then one in that one there Now that you got all three in, you can make them snug. All right, so there is the first side. So you're gonna have your two dots on the bottom and the opening on top, and that's for plus three millimeters to the diff height. And I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna build it the way the book says. I try, uh, Trevor can tune that when he runs it, if he needs to make changes or any of that. Uh, but I'm just gonna build it spec here, so you got that set up and then you're going to do the same thing for the other side so i'm going to skip ahead till that's done and then we'll move on to the next step all right so we've got the diff put together you got both your sides on here make sure your inserts are the same side to side you don't want them all cockeyed and opposite each other or make sure you don't use different ones because there are there's two different ones one with one dot and one with two dots and that changes the offset so we got that put together then they want us to move on to the shock tower so you're going to take your shock tower the front one the front and rear are different the rear has these big horns off the top front one is a smaller one so take that and you're going to take these two longer bolts and you're going to run them through this there's three holes and run it through the center hole and let's see here you're going to run <clears throat> that with a little bit of thread locker on there put a dab of that on there I'm actually surprised that that thread is supposed to stick through there that far, but that's what it says. All right, so run that. So you got that like that, and then you're going to take two of these ball studs, and when you're looking at it, you want to go on the inner of these two grooves. There's two grooves with three notches. You want to go on the inner of the two, and then you want to go on the center of that. And then these have nuts... And get that started. All right, snug that down. 
and they are lock nuts so you don't need to put Loctite on there with threads and that lock nut will take care of that. Again, don't make it too tight, but make sure it's not going to fall off of there. All right, and then you've got the front shock tower put together. So now we are going to move on. Right, to the so I lied a second ago. I got ahead of myself. So what we're going to do next is install this shock tower on the front diff. So you want to make sure that your ball studs are down and that these blue aluminum pieces are up. And they're going to face in like that. And you're going to line them up with the top horns on these side pieces that you put on the diff. And then I believe these are the 3x8s. And they are to be the button heads. So let's find those. One, two, three, four. I believe these are my 3x8s. They are. And you're going to put a dab of Loctite on them. Put that on there. And then you're just going to carefully run that through there. I'm going to get this one started. I'm not going to snug any of them down until I've got all four started. I'm going to run that one. So that is going to mount your front shock tower to your front diff. Snug all those up. All right, then I am going to get a paper towel. We're going to clean all this Loctite up and then we're going to mount this to the chassis itself. All right, so I got all the Loctite cleaned off there. I just want this to be a nice clean build. I want to let Trevor get it dirty, not me. Um, you're going to take this diff and make sure you're putting it on the right side. It's the side that's got the ESC mount. So you're going to take that. You're going to set this on top of there. Flip it over. And now you're going to take the 3x8 flatheads. Put a bit of Loctite on each of them. A couple of them started. There you go. Grab hold of one of them. Alright, so now I've struggled through getting those started and dropping tools. Clean up some of that excess Loctite. I'm going to go ahead oops, snug those ones down. And there we have it. We have the front diff and front shock tower mounted on the chassis. So now we're going to move to the back, which is the next couple steps, and we'll get that put together and mounted up. So onto the back, you're going to take your rear diff, and these brackets, make sure you use the right ones. These ones have kind of two holes that are lined up, and then they're straight up where the fronts, the top holes are kind of offset, and they, they, they look distinctly different, so just make sure you're using the right ones. Um, and I'm sure that I'm... I'm going to guess, I shouldn't say I'm sure, I'm going to guess the fronts won't mount to the rears and the rears won't mount to the fronts. So you want to use a plus one millimeter insert and you want to make sure you have it, you're going to have the dot, just one dot, not two, and it's going to go in here with the dot facing up, which is plus one, and then you're going to go ahead and mount that right there. And the upper bolt for that is going to be the flathead three by 12. Go ahead and get that started in there. And then you're going to take two of the 3x10s, line up your lower bolt holes, down, and round that one down. And then snug that first one up. And there you go. You got your first half done. So you're going to duplicate that on the other side. I'm going to skip past that and then we'll move on to the next step. All right. So we've got both sides mounted on the rear diff. Next, what we're going to do is take the rear shock tower. So that's the one with the longer horns on the side. Make sure you have the rear. And we're going to take, same as the front, these longer 3x22 button heads. And they are going to go, again, through the middle of the upper three holes. You're going to get some Loctite on both sides. And you're going to run these nice blue aluminum pieces down. Your upper's on. And then same thing with the bottom. Eight millimeter ball studs and your lock nuts. And these again 
are going to go now this one there's no inner and outer so there's just one set of holes on each side there's three little notches you're going to go through the center run your nut on again they're lock nuts so you don't need loctite on this part put these on here all right so once you've got them snugged up the other thing you're going to do on this step is to mount the rear shock tower or uh yeah rear shock tower rear wing mount and it's going to go let's see where they want you to run these holes or bolts Oh, and it is just one bolt actually through the center, and that's going to be a 3x10. I believe are these ones. Let's see. Yep, that's a 10. So you're going to go through the front side, so everything else has come through the back. Put this one through the front, and you are just going to run that down into that plastic, and then there you go. So you got your rear wing mount, and your ball studs, and the upper. Um, shock bushing mounts so we are going to take that and we are going to mount it to the rear diff and then the rear diff will go on the chassis so now we're going to mount the rear shock tower and the wing mount to the rear diff and you're going to take these holes and the upper two line up with the wing mount and this is a big long hollow spot so you're going to actually use longer bolts on the top than you are on the bottom you're going to line that up and i believe it's the three by twelves so let's make sure we're using the right ones here is it the 12s or the 10s? Yes, 3 by 12 so make sure you've got your 3 by 12s Those are not them, those are 10s. And you got these two. A little bit of Loctite. This is a little easier because you can drop them down in that hole and they're not going to just slide out of there. Alright, so I'm going to apologize for this part. Um, I did not realize I had some recording problems. I My camera battery was low and then the second time I tried to do it, it screwed up. So the last step for bag five is to take this rear gearbox and shock tower and wing mount mount it to the chassis um that's going to be the same four bolts on the bottom just like you did on the front um snug them down and then i realized there were four bolts that i had left and i wasn't sure where they went and i realized i missed a step on both sides so there's two upper mounts after you put those bottom four in there's two on the top on both sides and actually if you ran the, those in first it'd probably be easier to put the bottom ones in than holding this upside down and trying to hold it. So I missed that and I apologize. Um, snug all that down and then you are done with bag five. That is your front and rear gearboxes and shock towers mounted up as well as a rear, rear wing mount. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. Next we're gonna move on to step six. Um, and then I'm gonna, tr that's gonna be the steering and bell crank. Um, and then seven and eight, I'm gonna try and put in one video but I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. That is gonna be your hubs and um, knuckles and your axles and stuff. So that might be a little long to put the front and the rear in one, but I might just do front in one, rear in another, because those are two bags. So uh, we'll see how long those take. Uh, hopefully this video isn't too long. This was pretty easy to, to put these all together. Uh, if you like what you see, please like the videos. Um, subscribe if you want to keep catching or uh, keep up on the next episodes as they come out. And as we progress through this build, I'm having fun. Now that the holidays are over, I can start knocking more of these episodes out and hopefully put out more content. Thank you guys. We have broke 80 subscribers. We had 81 as of this morning, um, closing in 100, and then hopefully it keeps climbing from there. And uh, other than that, I'd like to say happy holidays and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that fun stuff. Um, get through the holidays, get back to some RC stuff. And I hope you guys got some cool RC stuff for Christmas. I know I got a couple projects and parts and pieces coming in um, that are presents or were paid for with gift certificates that were presents so some other fun stuff coming on the channel but uh, like i said guys thanks for subscribing thanks for liking thanks for watching and <clears throat> excuse me until next time this is richard from inverted adventures rc and i will see you guys in the next one